Good morning, fellow mathematicians. I'm wishing you guys a flammy new year right here. This time it's only flammable maths, not fappable maths anymore. This is the year of Papa Flammy. Or something like this. And we are going to start off strong this year with the Taylor series expansion of the cosine of x. To be more precise, we are going to derive the Maclaurin series expansion, but well, Taylor series expansion is as easy. Meaning, we want to express our cosine of x as an infinite sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of, well, the nth derivative of cosine, in this case f, evaluated at 0, times x to the nth power over n factorial. And for this, I would like to take a look at how our cosine is going to behave at the nth derivative, you could say. We are going to see if we see a certain pattern evaluated at zero. So why not take a look at, well, the first part. So you see we can write this out, uh, out to, um, yeah, f of zero over zero factorial plus f prime of zero x over one factorial plus f double prime of zero x squared over two factorial and so on, plus blah, blah, blah. Let's take a look at the first few derivatives of the cosine evaluated at zero. So the cosine of zero is nothing but one. So this is the first part. Differentiating the cosine leaves us with, well, negative sine evaluated at zero, which is just zero. Okay, next up, um, sine differentiated is cosine, so this is going to give us negative cosine of zero. Well, this is nothing but negative one, just like here. And cosine differentiated is negative sine, so this negative negative sine, so this is just the sine of zero, which is just zero. And if you go one iteration further, you're going to see that the sine differentiated is just the cosine. So the cosine of zero is one. So you see this pattern is going to continue up until infinity, basically. Okay, so you see, this is going to give us an alternating series in the end. It's going to jump between one and negative one terms all the time. So why not write this out a little bit more? So those are our side notes f of 0 over 0 factorial is nothing but, well, 1 over 0 factorial. f prime of 0 is nothing but 0. So this term is going to vanish. f double prime of 0, well, this is negative 1. So we have negative x squared over 2 factorial. This next term is an odd term, you could say. Third derivative is going to give us 0 at 0. So this is going to vanish. And the next term with 4 factorial is going to be just a regular one. So positive x to the fourth power over 4 factorial. The next term would be, well, negative x to the sixth power over 6 factorial plus dot dot dot. I hope you can see the pattern. So how can we put this into this sum notation up here? Well, basically, this is just an infinite sum. We're going to start at 0. So n equals to 0 to infinity of Okay, at first, well, this is just, well, let's put the x at first, so x to the 2 nth power. You see, we are only going to take the even terms right here. So x to the 2 nth power over 2 n factorial, respectively, where n is out of natural numbers with 0. So 2 n factorial. But what do we have to put here? Be because the, this right here is an alternating series. So on the first term, it's positive. Okay, on the second term it's negative, on the third term it's positive, so on every even term it's going to be positive, meaning we can just put negative 1 to the nth power here. So negative 1 to the 0 of power is just 1, it does fit. Negative 1 to the third power, for example, well, this is this iteration right here is negative 1. So you see this does work out, and this right here is just our Taylor series expansion of the cosine. It's as easy as it is for for such functions, it's really easy to derive their Taylor series. And I hope you did enjoy this little video. If you did, please like and subscribe, recommend channel if you like, and support the channel in various ways. Whatever you do, thank you guys for watching, and up until the next video, have a flammable day, I guess. See ya!